How's it going, Mort? How's everybody doing? Happy Sunday. <laughs> I'm just going to shuffle until we get somebody on here. Oh, they said happy Sunday. Hello, happy Sunday. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Joanne. How are you? No, oh, this is cool. This card came out. I'm going to leave it here for somebody. Yeah, I had a card pop out, too. I had a, another one, too. For the but I put it back in there. I figured it'll come back out. Hi, Mort. Hi, Joanne. I can't share either. If you want to share, you can. <laughs> It'll probably get more viewers. I don't have a way to share. If anybody else watching wants to share, that'd be awesome. Like if you want to put it on your page or the Not Here Collective page or. Great, finally warm weather. Yeah, y'all have not warm weather there, Joanne? Where you live at? <laughs> It'd be warm where me and Don's at. Yeah, it's warm here. I got sunburned. I helped my mom this morning um, in the yard. We just did the front yard, and then after this, I got to go do the backyard. We, we mowed yesterday. I, I mowed yesterday, and she did the weed whacker, and it's killing her. She can't mow because she loves to mow. And um, so I mowed yesterday, and they've got a hellacious hill, and I got to go weed whack the hill. I got most of the hill yesterday, but hi, Nigel. Hi, hey, Nigel. There's a lot of cards coming out for somebody. Some of them is breaking. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you. He always does. He's always good about that. Yeah, he's a great guy. One of these I'm going to have to look up because I don't know what it means. I'm using the Witch's Tarot Companion. Or the Witch's Tarot. And this is the Companion. <laughs> Today. The one that flew out for... Um, when I was uh, shuffling was a uh, garden and the gate and it's somebody sitting there looking at luscious fields and um, looking out at the expansion and I feel like someone is contemplating on um, going on a trip or movement and a movement in their life yeah, movement. They're contemplating it really hard. And I think it, it would it would be a um, a good opportunity for them financially. Yeah. Better and, stability. Because the King of Pentacles just came out if you said that. Yeah, it would be a very good good wise um, decision. They're thinking they're they're thinking hard on it, but um, it would be a good 
It would be a good move. My goal is to go home, Mort said. And then the Nine of Cups came out, which is a lot of options. The Nine of Cups is having too many options and not being able to make a decision, but it's in reverse. So it's guiding you to only focus on one cup, the one that you know in your heart is the best one. And see in this picture how she's focusing on one cup here. See this? Focus on that one cup and everything in the forward movement of this one cup. Not all these other options because they're not the right one. Only one option is the right one. And you know which one it is. So focus on that one. Because yes. you're not doing that. You have too many things going on. So, um, it's always good to, to think on things. But um, follow your heart this time. If your heart wants you to uh, go 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 home. Um, go home, Mark. Now someone is not being their their true self here. They're not manifesting correctly. They're not being in their highest vibration or their natural self or something. Or they're being affected by some kind of external influence that is changing their energy. Because the Queen of Wands came out in reverse. The Queen of Wands is someone that's manifesting your own destiny. Someone that's good on your own. That's very independent, but it's in reverse. So somebody is having some kind of possible codependent person that's around them. That is keeping them from doing this. And then we've got the shadow side. They're not visiting their shadow side. And they're not facing their their past and things that they need to heal because it's in reverse and they need to do this. To do this is going to free them from being tied or, or um, bound to this reversed queen of wands energy. If you can face your shadow side, face this reaper here, don't be afraid of him. Don't fear the reaper and face him, face your past. Hey, how's it going? YouTube. YouTube. So somebody. <laughs> YouTube message. There's someone from YouTube. A thing. Paranormal and entertainment. So someone needs to face this shadow of their something that they're afraid to heal in their self. They're afraid to confront in their self. It's surfacing right now. And then their Queen of Wands reverse is going to be upright Queen of Wands. And they're going to manifest everything that they want. That's a message for somebody. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you came live so I can get guidance about what I am going to be in a relationship. Do you want to pull for a thing and then I'll pull for a relationship guidance? I used to have special relationship cards. <laughs> I made learning it. Okay, I um, this card just flew out. Um, it was, it's a, a man ho holding a coin, and it was upright. So um, this this could mean because um, you see he's sitting in a lush field. So this card uh, could mean um, increasing, furthering your goals, increasing your health. And money or value to your life, greater success is on its way when you when you take control of your own finances and act. This card upright could also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or a healer whom you're already whom you already know. Or are soon to meet. This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning this action you need to take next. 
be open to the person showing up with support, but always turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you receive. This could also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. And I have these heart cards. I drew some of them. And one said that there is a transportation issue at the moment that can either be with you or with someone that you care about that you think might possibly be wanting to come towards you. There's some kind of transportation issue in the situation. And viewing you, I'm keeping an eye on you. So someone is viewing you. Someone's keeping an eye on you or protective eye on you. Someone, you know, like watching you, maybe through social media, I'm going to assume. I couldn't get a regular card to come out. So I drew from those because my deck, nothing was coming out. Hello, Louise Zenadog. Zenadog, how are you? From YouTube. How's everybody today? Does anybody want a reading? Anybody else? I'm going to try to pull one more card for a thing like a regular. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I like doing that. Just pulling and see who it resonates with. Yeah, it just didn't come out. My love is like traffic somewhere. That's funny, Joanne. I know, Joanne. I think I think mine um just got kidnapped or So I drew up five of pentacles in reverse. So the five of pentacles, this is a frozen over. Like a, something is frozen, something is stuck, something is stagnant with, with like income or money or finances or monetary value because it's frozen here. Like, and it was in reverse. Something's being worked out, I think, or needs to be worked out that's frozen. That could also resonate and mean that in the winter time, something is going to happen for you. The situation is going to get better financially. My, my last card was something financial. Yeah, I thought that was a pentacles card you had. <laughs> Join. <laughs> Seen it, route. That's funny. <laughs> The reading, but my situation is complicated. You want to pull for Louis? Um, Louis? well, Nigel wants oh. a reading. He okay, first. Nigel next, then Nigel and then Louis. Door to personal healing and happiness. I don't know who this one is for. Same here, Joanne. What did Nigel say? Nigel said, I would love to have a wonderful reading, please. So maybe for Nigel. I don't know if it's for Nigel or if it's for Joe or for Lou. Lou, Lou. I don't know. How about one of you let us know if this resonates? Yeah, one of you to let me know if this resonates. It's door to personal healing and happiness. There's a rainbow, open door with a rainbow and, and a, he has a, do, a dove in, in the window. Maybe someone's going through some kind of a therapy or a transition, some healing process is happening. I feel like someone's heart was broke. Yeah. And and they are um they're thinking about stepping into a new mm. a new relationship. Yeah. The Knight of Cups came out. <clears throat> if they are, the Knight of Cups is a prosperous very loving and giving and they express themselves and their love very well 
there is this knight on this horse or this king on this horse and he's holding this cup and he's bringing it to his uh, proper person to hand it full of love to hand it to them. So it can be somebody that's on their way. It's also cups are um, under the sign of water. So maybe a water sign is represented here and they're wearing blue but um this prince or king is bringing a cup of love to you and if this happens and someone um if you're not healed all the way then make sure that you don't reject this love offer just because you're not healed completely yeah i, I feel that this person would be very good for you mm -hmm. but you you have to be open yeah, the situation's complicated, Lou said. So don't make it any more complicated and don't sabotage it yourself. If you could possibly maybe just let it naturally flow and naturally happen, maybe it would be easier because water flows. Water symbol, the cups suit is a water symbol and he's wearing blue. Maybe you should just naturally let it unfold and this person doesn't have harm or ill will towards you. They have a lot of love for you. No. And I just said they lost a dad on February 9th, 2022. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> what? Can you imagine? I don't know how the Knight of Cups would pertain to that for Nigel, but the first part would. Let's see if we have any more advice or guidance for Nigel. Oh, I guess it got, that fits with Lou. Yeah, I thought so. I just felt like it did. Sometimes the card that you pull could actually resonate with two different people at the same time. Yeah. The Knight of Cups for Nigel could mean something different, like that that person that they lost was their Knight of Cups. It was the person that was the glue of the family that made everyone keep in touch and the one person that felt like home to everybody and the one person that just taught everybody how to love each other no matter what. It could be representative towards Nigel and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Hello, buddy. There's also the Four of Cups for you, Nigel. I'm going to see what it means. I'm not... I mean, the Four of Swords. I'm sorry. I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> this one is a sign that you need to take some personal downtime retreat or a day off so you can recoup lost energy and find your strength again. It's a healing card then. Um, maybe there's some battling, internal battling that went on. The... They, the querent may be feeling overwhelmed by demands or stress. You may feel the need to get away and, and to withdraw from a hectic and daily grind of life. Self-care must be needed. This card symbolizes you need to allow yourself time to recover from an illness or possibly from the loss of, which is going to make you feel ill for a while because you're going to be sad and grieving. Recover from that. It's urging you to take the time for yourself. Allow yourself to grieve properly allow yourself to heal and recover <clears throat> i got them i got 32 or 32 door to the spirit for nigel mm -hmm. and upright to la last last time we did this they were all in reverse yeah maybe the did you say door to the spirit yeah so don't lose your faith. You keep your faith connected through this. Yeah, the door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where you where all new beginnings ignite. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world. I'm not I I have trouble seeing. I'm having an operation on my cataracts sometime in this in August, so I, I can read. 
I just can't see. <laughs> so what this what, card is saying is you will have a deeper understanding of spirit. And some guides are watching him. He said spirit orbs. Yeah. On that card. So your father with you now. It means that he's watching over you now. And he knows that you love him. And that you can talk to him. Just like he's not gone. Because and several, be, looking, be looking for signs. Yeah. He'll be sending you signs. Smells. Just some kind of resonation of him. Something that reminds you of him. Annette wants a reading. Hello, Kimberly K. Pennies. Butterflies. Songs that come on that he used to like. Or that remind you of him. I'm reading what Lou said. Lou said, my ex role played with another guy and said, the person that loved me, that inside of her died. So the new person she is loves the new guy. So that's... I'm confused. The ex played another role played with another guy. So is your ex a female or a male? <clears throat> I'm only trying to get it right with the pronouns of he, she, her. So I can figure out which one is the boy, which one is the girl, or you. And I don't care. I don't judge. I'm just trying to piece together who's who in these three different people. Like the role playee, the role player, and the person that they were playing role with, and then you. Where do we, like, we need a little bit of, like, my ex role played with another guy. So is your ex... Your ex You're welcome, the, Nigel. Said that the person that loved you was die, dead, died inside. Hi, Rashimi. I hope I said that right. I probably butchered it. I don't think they mean anybody passed away, Lou. I don't think that's what they mean. I think they meant the identity of them inside that, like, Something happened and they had like an identity rebirth or like a soul rebirth or an awakening of some kind that they felt like they changed. Maybe they changed who they are attracted to. Maybe they changed who they wanted to identify their self as, as far as he or she or him or her. Maybe they changed that, but they also sound like they were saying that you were in love with the person that they were anymore and that they were reborn as another person. That person died, so they were reborn as another person. So the new person that you loved or this other person they're playing, the role playing with, loves this new guy. That's what it sounds like to me. So they need to get their... They need to communicate better. If they communicate with you, then they know if you or this other person love the old them or the new them better. And instead of assuming or thinking or being insecure, figure out what's really actually going on. Um, Rashemi, uh, we we just read we read cards. We can't really. We can do a reading and see what it says. I mean, yeah. It might be what they want to hear. Alka, hello, Rashmi, or Rashmi, hello. So we can pull cards and you can take it as it resonates, Rashmi. How about that? X is a female. Okay. I was just trying to figure out who was who in the story, like, because there was three people involved, plus this yeah. reborn person involved, so that could be, like, you know. Kind of no, I think I think what the person was saying was that the person that they used to be, he, that they loved, is not, they're you not know, that person anymore. Yeah, that's what I felt like, but I wasn't sure. If they were talking about this guy died and was new guy, are they saying that Lou is the new guy and Lou's old personality died and Lou is a different person now and has changed? Or were they saying that the lover is changed? The lover's a new person and the lover changed. I think the lover changed that person. 
so that person is not who they used to be. When it's not your responsibility, Lou, if they did something that was bad to you or mean, it's not your responsibility to have to deal with that. If someone, it's okay if people are willing to change, but if they're not and they're just going to hurt you, you don't have to sign a contract for that. Heal and move on, baby. Yeah. Heal and move on. Yeah. And you want to you wanna draw for Rashmi? Yeah. Hmm. Let's use a different one for that. <laughs> There's so much more to tarot card reading than just pulling cards, just so you'll know. A lot. Complicated, but a total in the end. She cheated. I let her go. I cannot forgive her for that. Well, if you can't forgive the person, then you would have to move on unless you were a very special person and you were able to forgive them and you could trust them again and that can be done. Then you could still stay together, but that would be a lot of trust having to be rebuilt and proven. So I will send good energy and pray for you in the situation. But do what is best for yourself. Always. Yeah, do it do it by, by forgiving, you know, I forget if you can forgive her for you. Yeah, so that you don't hold not, on. Not, not, not for them. You don't want to travel with that. Forgive her to... for you. Yeah. And and move on so you can heal. And if you don't, then there's other people that will suffer from your brokenness from this. This if it's not healed, it won't be good. And they won't deserve it. Basically, put it that way. Okay. Rishimi, I got for you, I got action. I see two horses running in a field. So, um, and, and dark clouds kind of forming. So, I feel like you have some kind of situation that is coming together and you should um, take some kind of action to move past this. I got a dreams coming true card, which goes with what you just said. Dreams coming true. <clears throat> which would be something that you've always wished for. You're hopeful, you're wishful, your dreams, something that you've always wanted. And dreams are coming true, but also got feeling safe. You have to feel when this is brought to your attention or given to you or presented to you or told to you, or you get some kind of weird signs that seem like there's no way possible that these could be real and, and don't, don't ignore them, that you take the safe steps forward when you get these signs from the universe or from a person or people that you meet it's okay it is safe to tread forward towards this dream it is actually really happening yes but you have to take the action to get there yeah and the girl has wings also so she's flying probably towards her safety her safe spot and it's also, there's a building in the background, so this might be something to do with a house, a new firm foundation, a new uh, place to live. Okay, please let us know if that resonates. I'm really sorry for you, Lou. <laughs> so sad for you. I can feel your sadness. Yes. Fuck so bad. And Lou, I've been there before. Me too. That's why it hurts. And that's why I say, you know, that you have to, I, not, I don't say you, I had to forgive that person so I could move on with my life. And mm -hmm. it took me 12 years to figure that out. <laughs> and I was only with this person for seven. So it took me 12 years to figure out that I had to, forgive this person so I could be able to move on. 
sometimes sometimes it takes some people longer to figure things out, I guess. <laughs> so maybe I went through all that so I could tell you. Yeah, definitely. And other people, other people. And some people don't have systems. If this person was role playing with other people in a romantic or an intimate fashion, then they may not have the same belief system as you. They may not have the same traditions as you. If you don't do that and that doesn't resonate with you, which in my case, I'd say no, let that go. But if they're doing that with other people, then they don't have the same belief system as you anyway. So you're always going to be looking over your shoulder and that's going to be a terrible life to live. You can do this, though. You can get past it. You were probably fine before this person. That's what I always have to tell myself. I was fine before this person. Because <laughs> if you don't want to let go, you've got to remember how were you before. You know what I mean? You were okay before, so you can be okay again, for sure. It took me a while to let myself know that I'm not responsible for others' actions and feelings. How old do you think that you were, Joanne, when you figured that out? It is heavy, but also part of the heaviness is you hanging on to it and not forgiving and letting it go like Dawn was saying. And forgive yourself for sure, because worst thing someone can do is just put those demons on their self and blame their self. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Alika? Yeah. Oh, do you see somebody else? I see Sophia Hippie. Alka. Alka, are you still Alka. there? Alka Pandy, are you still there? I forgot. <laughs> I've seen Sophia pop up at the bottom. One more time. Alka, are you still here? If we'll do Sophia, and then if Alka says something later or pops back in, we can do Alka. Okay. Sophia. Since I became a member of the pair family, so much knowledge from you all. Awesome. That's awesome, Joanne. That's what it's all about. It's supposed to be all about that. Sharing the knowledge and the experience. Door Next, to romance please. for <laughs> Sophie. Okay. Annette, you can be next. Sophia. Door to romance for so. <laughs> she said, do you see me going to the beach? Is there a beach in there? No. Girl, you better get yourself to the beach. Yeah. Figure how to get there. That's what I got to say. I would not let nothing keep me from going. I'd walk there. I have walked there before. I have ran there. I have jogged there. <laughs> hey, Wayne, Debbie. Hi, Wayne. This is a Wayne Wayne Goundry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure who. I don't know him. Hey, Debbie. But... All right, Sophia, let's see. I'm telling you, you're going to the beach. I ain't even pulling a card yet, and I'm telling you, go to the beach. Hey, Kimmy Dawn. <laughs> Sophia, you better get to that beach. My family is not telling me I'm allowed to go. Well... There's nothing wrong with the beach. Are they? Why are they afraid of you going to the beach? The beach is a very majestic, magical place to go. It helps you feel good. And if it's hot outside, it helps you feel good to cool down, too. Maybe you can manifest this. Do you know anything about manifestation? I think that you will go to the beach. And I think that you will manifest and just trust that you're going to put the thought out there. Focus on the thought. You're already at the beach. Envision being at the beach and know that you're going to go to the beach. And I think that it will happen. 
I know that sounds like a bunch of cocoa, but I promise it's not. I know I want to go to the beach too, <laughs> but my financial situation, I can go to the country beach in Oklahoma. <laughs> That's what I used to call it when I couldn't go to a regular, like a big beach. If I'm going to the country beach. Your family has issues with you. Well, what she said. What do they think you're going to go naked? Is it a nude beach? <laughs> is the, hey, Valerie, is that their problem? Because that's why I asked. I was like, why would they have problems with this person going to the beach? Because yeah, some, are, you, are you grounded for the summer or something? Is that why? If you are earning a trespass and manifest going to the beach, just envision that you're already there and act as if you're already going so that you won't be upset, you won't be stressed about it, you won't be anxious about it, and just believe that you're going to go to the beach. I like that too, Joanne. They have a list going. I don't know what that means. Are they wanting you to earn it? Or are they trying to hold it over your head? And are you waiting for some kind of communication to come? Sophia, you live three hours away and I just pulled the three of pentacles. That's funny. I was looking at this three of pentacles. There's three pinnacles here and you live three hours away. And it looks like he's manifesting actually. He's writing in a journal and he's drawing sigils with a pen. And with his pet beside him, he has a pet cat. And he's drawing some sigils and he's concentrating on something. And until literally it looks like to me that he is manifesting something happening. But pinnacles represents value. So it could be self-value or it could be them wanting you to work to earn going there or they need money to buy the gas to go there. Let's see. And the number three is significant. There we go. Um, hard work, progress, success through dedication, creatively using your talents, magical apprenticeship, and achievement. So it could be telling you that you have to earn going there because you did something that maybe caused them to not trust you or to cause them to punish you or to cause them to stagnate and hold on and hold you back from going. So you need to work and regain that. I don't know the situation. Or creatively using your talents, manifesting. In the photo, he is manifesting what he wants. I do think that you can do it. I do think that you will do it. A magical apprenticeship is happening. You may begin a new course of magical studies or perhaps are working towards a new degree in your coven. Your hard work will be noticed and appreciated by others. Now is the time to perfect your craft. It says, use creative talents to supplement your income. Be self-employed. Learn a new career skill. So hopefully that resonates. Hey, love. Love, Rose Ken. Love, Rose Ken. Hey, Lou. You can stay as long as you want. That's what they said. Lists going. So there's things they want you to do to be able to go. Is that what you're saying? That's what I thought. The first thing I thought when I saw this is they're holding the pentacles over the head. See the pentacles over the head? The three pentacles are over his head. He's looking down at this book and he's manifesting and focusing and he's thinking about what he wants. But there's these pentacles over his head that are being held over his head. 
Well, so what had, they're asking you to do, are they uh, unreasonable? Or are they for your own benefit? Like chores? Lessons? What is it? Because I just got anxiety, but it was in reverse. Maybe they're trying to cause the person anxiety on purpose. I... I Feel some anxiety. That's why I asked the question. Yeah, I do too. Unless Melvin is there. Did you see that? Oh, wait. That's Joanne. That's well, somebody different. else. I was like, who's that? It's this lifeguard? <laughs> Thank you, Valerie, for sharing. I was trying to see there was some anxiety in reverse is. Finally, relief. The nightmare of a card reverse could mean one of two things. Either a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed, or you have mastered an old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within either way anxiety reversed is is a good omen of more relaxed and peaceful times to come maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties and fear thoughts fade away into the distance. Let go of fear and worry and, as, and assume the best and live in peace. All is well. This is still for Sophia, Love, Rose, Ken. Yeah. If you want to, you can um, have one. Oh, so this is still for Sophia. And then Annette is next. Annette? Yes. So maybe there's a situation that they're not really telling Sophia about, which is why they're actually not going, but they're just not saying it, you think? I don't know. I, I don't understand what she said. They have a list going. They have reasons why, maybe. Reasons. And they'll work herself out, and then she'll get to go. Yeah. To be patient. Hello, Sajini. Sajini. Annette is next, and then Love, and then Sajini. So, we'll do for Annette now. And then the sun popped out. And that's the very first one. Upright. The sun brings blessings to the earth. And this card brings blessings in, uh, in your own life as well as just the sun new nurtures the earth, brings new life in the spring and so and summer this is your time for a new beginning the onset of nurturing new light in your life the light of divine inspiration and personal growth this card often makes a time of great creativity bringing the accumulation of any important new project such as the birth of a baby or the writing of a publication of a book 
or even the birth of a new of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into experiencing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the ray of the sun bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See future and see the future you want and create and know the sun is shining on your on your intentions now so basically it's a card of manifestation and starting over no so genie i have one drawn for you this is not for you this is for annette sorry i was just because she keeps saying something. No, this is not for her. Because after I read what she wrote, I realized that the cards I pulled out are for this person. So, Jeannie. Well, Annette, you can start your new beginning. Now is a good time to start your new beginning. And you can manifest, you can man. you have the energy right now to manifest anything you want. You have the confidence and you have the confidence and to, to do it all. Right now is a good time. We have one more reading. It's love. There's someone named Love and they've been waiting and then you'll be Sajini. <clears throat> but I already have yours pulled. But love was next. And there's no specific question for love. So I guess whatever we pull. All right. Can you please hear for me future marriage and future career? Thank you. That's from love. I have to I have to get off if you want to stay. I have to get off right at one. Yeah, but we won't be over one. We still have twelve minutes left. I don't yeah. go over I don't stay over. You don't stay over? No. Uh -uh. Nope. Okay. Because no. I have I have family I have to go see now. Because I don't have I don't know what other people's schedules are and it's broadcasted on things. Oh, okay. I can't go over one. Because <laughs> okay. I have to ask somebody, you know what I mean? Okay, I that, n another card just popped out. Energy must be nuts. Yep. I put the person up there that asked next. Okay, this is for love. Yep. Goddess of the moon. That's a pretty card. She has wings and she's holding a full moon. It's at night. It's a beautiful card. I have an upside down tower. Go ahead and do okay. yours. Down tower. Is like something is being withheld, something is being hidden, something is being concealed, and it's not being brought to light, or you don't know what's going on. There's something behind the curtain that's happening. Because a tower moment is when something happens and it comes crumbling down, and a truth is revealed, or a situation is picked apart, dissected, and the truth comes to light. But this tower is in reverse, so something is being held from letting that happen. Something is being um kind of like just held in the air from coming full circle and and a truth being revealed so i was going to read really quick from here also the wording a different wording of it from the book the tower in reverse can also mean arguments trauma frustration and destruction so um This being for love. Um, is there a trauma that you haven't healed? Do you have some kind of self-sabotage? Uh, 
something from your past maybe but it needs to be like released and I think it can happen by what Dawn was reading about the sun card maybe you have only your own inner frustration destruction and arguments sometimes that happens and by doing what she was saying maybe that can help release some of that a blockage it'll release a blockage that is going on okay i got goddess of the moon and this woman is holding up I said before, I said it's a beautiful card. Oh, it is. That's so pretty. And there's a waterfall there, and which is a conductor of energy. And and a she, natural resource, like a good... And, yeah, parent. and she's tapping into, um, you know, she's getting the energy from the moon, and she's tapping into those energies, and that's basically what this card means. You can, you intuitively, you can tap into your energies. And um, and use them in, into in, to your intuition. Is that a moon? Hmm. Is that a moon? Yeah. The card is goddess of the moon. Do you talk to the moon? Does this person talk to the moon? You go outside and talk to the moon. The card is all about intuition. To in you. you to rely on your intuition and use your intuition more. Um, it's, this is just a reminder. And that you're always blessed with the ability to connect to your intuition and open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration that this card brings oh all of a sudden i have a whenever the energy is real high mm -hmm. cause, causes a headache of course everything causes a headache it might be not because of <laughs> it might be because of something else i will tell you in a minute this is the person that wants a reading next and their message multiple times can I get my reading next can I get my reading next can I get my reading next <laughs> hey Asanda how are you and Melangena 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 yeah, we have time for one more reading don't we and Joe how are you this is the person who I put up there The Sajini person was the next one in line. <clears throat> and asked about a romantic reading conversation. Can we have a, a nice conversation together with this whole heart and soul in the conversation? And then after that, she said... Yes, this reading is for you. Right now, he speaks for the sake of it. <clears throat> so, this reading is for you. Um, the cards that I pulled that I said was for this person. I knew they were for this person. This magician card came out in the very beginning. And a magician card is someone that's being manipulative. Someone that is manipulating you. So, if they speak just for the sake of it, they're just talking to you to keep you on a string. Magician in reverse. Okay? Manipulative person. Um, they can be used in manipulative tactics to keep you drawn in or confused. I don't know why I can't tell you why because I don't know the person, but it represents someone that's using the manipulative tactics towards you. All right. The two of wands was after that. The two of wands is two people working together or balancing something out. Something has to be balanced out. You might have to be up front and say, hey, if you're not going to tell me or do what I need or give me what I need to hear from you, then I am just going to assume we're friends and I'm going to just go on my own direction. It might be what you need to do to balance the situation out so that the person knows that you're serious and what you want. you got to be upfront about what you want. 
because wands is about manifesting kind of like wands magic wands getting what you want making what you want making it come into fruition and then the six of cups is after that um i'm gonna let don pull a card really quick while i look up six of cards cups i mean six of cups i got appreciation and i think that goes along with what um rosie just said and that will um make them understand that you appreciate yourself hmm. and that they that they need to um have some appreciation for you and not waste your time and not waste your time yeah that you are you're a person and and you're valuable i have a card that says something about this too the other card um third card that i drew you need to do what she says anyways because what she says is going to make you not attract poopy people that are going to just waste your time and energy hello thank you for the flower the sunflower um this card the last card that i drew represents someone coming into you bumping into you from your past Someone from an old stomping ground, someone you went to school with, someone you used to work with, someone coming in from your past, the Six of Cups. Also, notice you adopt a more childlike type of wonder for the world instead of expecting someone to give you something for you to care about them or want to be with them. Don't expect anything at all, maybe, or expect less, but don't expect like like a specific outcome it's saying to let go of your desire to have a specific outcome. Um, also it represents let your imagination guide you into a new creative project believe in magic again and like as i was saying it says a former coven member who moved away childhood sweetheart a return life again or someone from your old stomping grounds a family member or a classmate some kind of reunion is about to happen so, it could be talking about this person even. But be appreciative of your time better, like Dawn said. Your time is sacred. Your time is important. And it doesn't need to be wasted. Nobody does. So, and that is the last reading we're going to do today. Hey, Joshua. Hey, Tandika. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Joshua. Jow. Carmino. Joe. Jow. Hermino Asanda and everybody, thank you for watching. Yes, Enjoy. please come back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> same day, same time, same channel. Thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful week. Love Bye. to everybody. <laughs> Bye.